was all. Oh gosh, I get he get them in Disney cars, magazine to do them, Mississauga and Dow, New Credit Dungey. At this time is when we uh, get our canoes ready and our nets ready because the fish will be running. And we, we realize this because the sap on the trees are running. All life is intertwined and they give answers to uh, when and uh, where. So it connects all of our people together so we know who. And so when, it, when this happens, then uh, the Anishinaabe people take notice and they start to gather the sap from the trees. And they never knew about the sap from the trees except a long time ago. Those trees were sitting there and they were stretching their limbs and they said, there's an itch and I can't reach it. I can't scratch it with my branches. The antlers of the moose, the tallest moose won't reach it. But along came pow, 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 say, the woodpecker and he pecked and he pecked and he pecked a bug from underneath of his limb. And there, was not only a tasty meal, it was satisfaction for the tree. So the tree was very, very happy. And it was years later that there was a drought throughout the land. And the woodpecker came up and he was, he fell upon his, and onto the tree where he had stopped its itch. And the tree said, what's the matter, Papa Paul say? He said, I'm dying of thirst. All our people are dying of thirst. He said, come and drink the sap of my tree. Peck a hole inside of me. And the sap started to run. And the woodpecker was able to drink the sap and his people were saved. But they also taught the Anishinaabe that the maple tree had a beautiful sap to give, not only to the woodpecker, but to, to the Anishinaabe people. Miigwech, miigwech, miigwech. Wow.